I'm Craig Mitchell. We're here at Sturbridge Metallurgical Services. We're an independent laboratory that specializes in the testing and characterization of metallic components. Today we're going to be testing a series of guitar strings. The objective of the analysis is to compare the modified paradigm string to other industry leaders um, producing traditional strings. The first analysis is going to be a mechanical test. We're going to be gauging the tensile strength of the paradigm wire versus other traditional wires from industry leaders. This is going to be done through a series of tensile tests to gauge the ultimate strength. So the Paradigm 9 still exceeds the strength of a competitor 11 string. Tensile testing, we saw across all wires that the Paradigm wire had a higher strength, uh, as shown by the higher ultimate tensile that we recorded. The second analysis is going to be a series of cyclic corrosion tests. The objective of this is to see how surface treatment of the Ernie Ball Paradigm wire uh, improves the corrosion resistance versus a traditional wire. So this is the artificial perspiration. I'm just keeping it at the same level of testing as it evaporates over the cycle of the test. Yeah. So this test frame is automated. It'll go down for a submersion of five minutes, okay. then automatically kick back up, and it'll sit in the air for 30 minutes. And then the cycle continues. So in your estimation, now looking at both of these, I mean, is this a pretty substantial difference, what you're seeing here? I'd say the level of corrosion, um, which is evidenced by the darkness of the red rust along the wire, and just the amount present up yeah. the length of the wire compared to Paradigm, they're really not comparable. In a real world scenario, it might be getting splashed with a drink, your sweat, oil from your fingers. Maybe some beer. It's some beer, you never know at a show. Yes, this is a highly exaggerated lab test, but the purpose of it is to say that based on this test, you might have confidence in months and months instead of weeks um, now that it's been exposed to an environment as harsh as this.